Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly, and I'm back. <laughs> um, I told you, I'm gonna, I already have an idea for my next canvas, and I'm just going to keep on sitting here and create uh, and doing canvases how I want to do them and ATCs and all the things like I used to because that's what I've been wanting to do. So, let's start. She's upside down. She's dry. Thank the gods. What I did was I took my orange uh, ink and I just kind of put it here. Um, to cover up like the white I had around it so I can darken the E. And what I like to do is add threes. So like for instance here, I have some orange, you know, going up this way. I want it here, here. I like to add it, you know, in different, I'm an odd person. So I like odd numbers. Uh, not because I'm an odd person. I'm an odd person, meaning I'm odd weird, but then I'm an odd person in numbers, if that makes sense. Oh, she's back and she's making no sense. Um, so yeah, so <laughs> that's where I'm at on here. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I want to do her hot. And the reason I did black, um, I was going to do the green because I love the green against the orange, but I didn't want it to look too Halloween-y. Um, oh, I am not against Halloween. I love me some Halloween. But um, I don't know, on this one in particular, I wanted to kind of just do like the black hat. I'm going to put like maybe a little boopy up here. I don't know. Um, so that's what I'm going to work on now. And, you know, that's it. I, I have to tell you guys that, I mean, I put this up like at 3 in the morning. Um, 3, 4 in the morning. And, <clears throat> like, for you guys to already wrote, like, you know, a small handful of you already wrote, like, the word. And that you watched it all the way through. And I know uh, Angie is watching it now. And answering all my questions, she'll do that in the comments. And I love that. I don't get offended by that whatsoever. I love it. She'll, like, listen to what I say and then answer. Because I always do that, f like, with people when I'm watching a TikTok or um, my girlfriend, uh, Sigrid, and I. We do videos back and forth to each other every day and, you know, just like talking videos like, hey, how you doing? You know, whether we are trying to cheer the other one up or complain or just use each other as support or just be friends and be silly. Um, and I know when I'm watching her videos, I'm all the time answering her and she can't hear me. <laughs> and you say, why do you guys just not talk on the phone? Well... Not that, I mean, my life is so hectic. Her life is so hectic. And honestly, she's in California and she's like three hours uh, behind me. And she's going through so much health stuff. And uh, she has like therapy and she doesn't sleep all night. So she like sleeps sometimes till, you know, four or five o'clock her time because like her schedule's all screwed up and that that time for me is dinner and slowing down and then I'm in bed when she it, it's a thing believe me um I am gonna I don't know like if you guys would like this sounds silly but I don't know does zoom let you do more than one person like it used to because I know they changed some stuff but you know like some sort of like support group for each other I feel like there's just not enough um I just don't think that there's enough support out there, especially women. Women are so catty and so nasty and can be, I, I'm, you know, and sometimes we just want somebody to listen and not, not necessarily compare, but like, I don't know. It's hard to explain. Anyway, I just didn't know if we could try something where we all, you know, it hits all of us where we all have a time when we can meet or if... Let's say, like, if you're um, England, a uh, Britain, or you know, somewhere like that, where you're like five hours ahead or behind, um, you can meet up with people that either are California time or same time or some something that we can do each other. I'm so tired of not um, of, of just seeing women not supporting each other, and I could go on and on, and it's just not even that important uh, to add to this video, but. I was just thinking. Let me know what you guys think. Because I would much rather talk to somebody and be their support than to see that they took their own life. If 
to put it bluntly. So that's, that's where that's going. <laughs> so much, Kelly. You're so good. Right when you're supposed to be painting. I'm going to have people say, that's not what I'm here for. Anyway, back to painting. Back to painting. Okay. So that is probably going to need another coat. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go in and let's see if I can turn and do an E here. I want it to be thick. You know, we like them thick. Yeah. All right. All right. And then the other thing I got to do is I got to get some, some sort of lighter paint, maybe that pink and just fix this H here because like one of the little black boopies from the last video. And if you want to see the video before this, that where we got to here and then the video before that, which we got to here and here, uh, everything will be linked, uh, at the end of this video up in this corner. So you can see, and I'm going to sneeze in a minute. Okay, and I gotta do her little eyes. So I'm just gonna dot some of this black in here off my brush. Because I used a. Uh, what color did I use? I think I just used pencil. Which is kind of gray. And then I'll just lay that in there until. I can, um, and you guys know, I love doing odd girls. So if the eyes aren't making sense to you or they're not even, or they're not this, that, the other, it's just an odd girl. I'm an odd girl. I got one eye. Maybe it's not as open as the other one. You know what I'm saying? Um, a boob that it might hang a little lower than another one, maybe a little smaller. Um, I got thunder thighs. But I'm trying to get that under control. Will it happen? I don't know. But yeah, so, you know. Sometimes, oh, I can tell you another thing. My bottom lip is bigger than my top lip. Sometimes my top lip disappears. And I want to go get it plumped up. But I don't know. And then sometimes when Emily gets her makeup boxes and stuff and they have the, uh, What's it called in it? Like the tingles, you know, like a lip pumper. And I'm like, girl, let me try it. You know what I mean? All right, so this is a little thick right there, a little more thicker than I like it. So I'm going to wet my brush, pray to the gods, because <laughs> that's the way I like to do it. Just a little bit of water, and then I'm going to race. And like, pretend like I got concealer. Dab it, rinse it, dab her again. Again. There we go. I went 90s, girl. 90s. And then just, I like to do a little tap, wipe your fingers. You can use your, um, what's my call it? You know, put something down to tap it up, but this is just how I do it. Okay. And then you always want to make sure you rinse before you go back in to clean it or start the other side because this is just going to clean up any extra. Um, I'm going to have black on there. And then when you have black, there's no going back. It dries. You're done. Why I wipe it first before I go to rinse it, I think is ridiculous. But it's like this weird thing habit I've had. Um, because I am ridiculous. Okay. And since I, you know, I'm too busy talking and everything, that's not too big. All right, okay. Not mad at that, not mad at that at all. All right, now we're gonna work on them eyes. But I gotta fix that eye. Okay, where's my pencil? Okay, here's my pencil. I got the point, I'm gonna turn it. Now I have this lifted underneath a little bit. <laughs> she janky. Um, just so you guys can see it because I don't know why. I, I guess because I did the matte gloss on there, she's a little, um, it solved the problem, but she's a little uh, glossy like right here. So when I lay her flat, you could see we got a little gloss going and that's not necessarily, we don't need that. So I'm gonna turn this, okay. 
turn and I'm going to draw out this eye. A little bit more. I'm waiting. I got, I just spoke with uh, two references. I'm waiting on another reference for a lady who wants to adopt Stevie, which is breaking my heart because I just want to keep her so bad. But honestly, with everything going on with Dave and, um, you know, having to pay for like part of the hearing aid and everything and um, Emily's dog and it's so much and I just can't adopt her right now. And she'll need fixed and, you know, it breaks my heart. It really does. And it breaks his too. But, you know, you go, trying to find her a good home. That's all I can do. So I'm going to go in a little bit more with my lime green. Um, just on the temp of her eye. Going to rinse that. We're going to dry it. Now is where you want to dry it. Because, you know, those drippages we get. I'm going to just do the tip of that a little bit. Go in. And I just went a little bit on the brighter on the edges. Okay. And I do this because it picks up some of it. I mean, everybody has their own gig. Uh, it's going to be darker up here and just a little bit darker down here. I might do some um, gold or uh, something. Maybe I'll do, you know, I'll just... What the freak? <laughs> I swear to God, why? Uh, you know what? Maybe we'll do this. Just add some. Why not? Like some scribbles. And just smooch it in. Mm. Rub it in. And then I might as well scoop it out of my nail. Oh my God. Go over this again because it's gonna need it. <laughs> That's the God saying, "Girl, you need to do this. Do it next." No, it's Kelly being Kelly being Kelly. So yeah, so that was my morning so far. And Dave's in there. He can't, he's not allowed to really move, which we're going to have to time down soon because he's not happy. Not moving around. And Emily's in there being the sergeant, making sure. So they're watching Bigfoot stuff, which is right up their alley. And I'm in here and I'm thrilled. <laughs> I'm going to try to, um, in between things drawing and me taking a break, is i um, going to try to get this room in here a little bit more organized because she a mess. She's a mess. Oh, no, don't ruin my good nails. I just painted them. Ugh. Moon cat. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right. So I'm going to wet my brush and I'm going to. I just want this kind of sheared out. I don't necessarily need, I don't mind that. Like that right there is fine for me. Just do a little bit up here. I don't know. I kind of like the green, but what I'm going to do is close this without putting my fingernail in it. What do we think about She did it! Yay! and go in and we're going to do the damp for Angie and all those closet smokers for health of course there we go yeah okay let's turn her this way so I can look at her all right okay all right okay so now I'm going to get my little brush back I don't know if you guys for those who have been with me um I use the same, I end up using the same brush all the time, you'll see. I'll put them all away and I always grab the same one. Um, so what I want to do is I'm going to take some of my gesso. I'm going to shake it. 
And why do I shake it? You shake it for many reasons, but because I like to take it out of the tip of the, the cap. Just That's just how I do it. Okay. And then I can... Tap in. Apparently can't talk when I do it either. Some of that white And I know, like, you know, we're not always white in our, if you look at my eyes right now, they're bloodshot and you can also use a Q-tip to um, do these little areas. I do have little brushes I'll have to get out, but I just want to lay it down to get a base of the gesso. I mean, really, that's that's all we got to do at that moment. Lighten that up a little bit. A controversy that I had started years ago, years and years ago. Um, see, I want to do some wings on here because I love it, but I'm not. Um, I think my next one, I'm going to do angels. I started out doing angels years ago, like 2005. I mean, it was like YouTube had just started and um, around and uh, I started doing commissions for people. So they would send me pictures of their dogs or angels or whatever, you know, maybe somebody passed on it and I would do these angel uh, paintings and stuff for them. And I was doing really, really well. Um, and then my son passed and then that kind of ended that. I just didn't want to do anything ever again in my life. Um, and I've been off and on since, but here we are and I love painting. I can't, you know, I can't help it. All right, I'm gonna need a gold. Hmm. None of these, but you know what? Let me see. Yellow, orange, Asian, black. Mm, they're not gonna do good for me on here. Hmm. I have to look for my gold paint. I don't think I supplied myself gold paint. Gold paint? Why didn't I? Okay. Oh, maybe I have some markers. I talk to myself a lot. I do apologize. Especially as I'm getting older, girl. All right. Well, that's going to be last than the eyes underneath of the green. But let's do the hair one more time. Do I want to do the ink or do I want to do paint? Hmm, what's this? Let me see. I put a bunch of paint underneath here for me. Here's a magenta. I wonder if it's going to be too much. Um, in my rolly, like, you know that metal uh, thing that you can hold, like, all the paint in? So I did, like, all my Roy G. Bibs there. So I don't have any specialty paints there. And then my main one's here. Um, oh, there's gold. What color gold's this? Quinacro. Uh, it's going to be too much. So, well, that might be alright. It looks a little pinker than what I want. But, um, I'll try different brushes time, shall we? Shall we? Shall we? Um, yeah, okay. So, yeah, so I have them underneath me. Uh, it's brighter. But if you're going to dye your hair like this. See, I was like, when I was doing it, I was like, oh, she's wearing a hat because... She needs her hair dyed. Who <laughs> doesn't do that? Probably just me, but you know, I think she needs a little, a little bit more opaque. And this is just going to go on. Is this a uh, multi-surface? Okay, so let me just tell you something. When you see the word multi-surface or satin, great paints. Um, however. They are cut, I wish I would have looked before I did this, but they are cut with a clear coat, okay? And that makes them sheer-er than if you just had used the regular one. I'm not going to be mad at that on this, but um, like for instance, the green, you can see it's not covering this, the green I used because it's multi-surface, but if I used regular green, which I don't know why, I, I don't know what I was doing, but 
then um, it would have covered it, if that makes sense. So think of that when you go to buy paint. Um, especially if you're buying like craft paint, which I love craft paint. This is this is all um, folk art and some of it's deco media, deco media. Um, that's why you use a small brush, you stupid wench. Um, so, you know, they work, they work fine. I love, I have the other stuff too, but I always go and grab these because they're here. They're easier to store because, um, you know, the other ones are bigger. They're in like tubes and, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to do the, uh, I have a couple of them up here which you can't see but um of tubes you know like on the little clippies and stuff from the dollar tree so i'm gonna do that too so i have those to grab because i love them and and you know i i already had told you guys this but um there she goes with that little brush um i feel like the news van <laughs> don't ask um whatchamacallit I forget what the hell I was going to say. It doesn't matter. It'll come to me. Okay. I'm not mad at that. I'm going to just go. I think I need to use the bigger brush now. Oh, I'm going to put my... I know what I was going to say. I'm going to put my bigger brushes... Uh, my bigger paints up there, like the Liquitex and Goldens that I've left. Because what happened to me was... <laughs> Uh, when my son died, I've told this story a million times, but I have a lot of new people, but when my son died, he, um, my husband felt so bad and it was around, um, Christmas time, December 10th when he died. So what my husband did, because I was just like, I'm never painting again because blah, 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 blah. And he went and bought me all brand new, like golden stuff, golden paints, golden, uh, Golden gloss gel, matte gel, this and that, this and that, all golden, some Liquitex. And over the years, because I didn't want to waste it, because it's so expensive and I didn't want to, you know what I mean? A lot of it went bad. So I don't want to, I don't want the rest of it to go bad or whatever. So plus, like I said in a prior video, I would wait until the uh, Michaels and them had sales and where they would give you the coupon. This is before COVID. And I would go buy, oh, I need this color. I'll buy a big one and get half off. Or I need this or that. So then there's, you know. So I haven't done that in years. But I might start. Okay. I think that's all I'm going to do with that. I'm going to fix the one. And then once it's dried, I can see what I want to do. But I just want to clear. It's almost like a scrub brush. And then once you get it wet, just dry it. Go back and pick it up and dry it. Pick it up and dry it. Look at that. And then see where you made mistakes where it's kind of, I mean, it is just texture really, right? Okay. I mean, I get, we get the sense that she has a hat on and that's her hair. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to let that dry and then I shall return. Okay, Duke. Please excuse the mess if you can see it. I just kind of cleaned off the one thing over there and I'm trying to get, my um room situation dave and i are sharing now um for many reasons but to try to motivate each motivate each other to do things like this or what he does uh for him to paint or write or whatever he wants to do but just so we thought if we shared it would be a good thing so kind of putting everything in here and trying to um make it work so just trying to get my stuff organized anyway so these are, this is number one. I don't know what that means. These are the batch that I got from Timu. Uh, this is like a few videos back and it's a number one. So I went in and I just 
tapped some of that A off and just drug it down because there was like a boopy sticking out and then the H just to kind of make it better, right? Um, and I'm going to throw some in here. And I also am, just had to look, am I recording? I can't remember. That's a kind of month it's been really. Um, okay, so there we go. There we go. There we go. Just pushing it back a bit. So it's not like boof in your face. Um, because you're not meant to necessarily read them. They're just there, you know. I'm not going to take the star because I like the star. And then I just go in and kind of buff it out a little bit. I mean, there's no really rhyme or reason to it. I just like, you know, pushing some of it back. That's all. And then just like that. Okay. Now, I'm going to take this. I'm going to try it with this pink. We're going to see. I want to go in here. And kind of give her might need to be a little bit darker because you know like how yeah it might have to be a little bit darker so you see what I'm doing right I'm putting like a little tear duct kind of thing oh, come on now come on now I'll probably just have to lay up a little bit more. Haven't even thought about the lips. This would be too light for the lips. Okay, so. Then, then, I'm going to rinse it. I got some fresh water, too. Um, it was kind of yucky. I'm trying to really make an effort not to leave my brushes in there anymore. Because that, that's me. I come back three uh, weeks later, like when I wasn't doing it all the time. And I'm like... I left my brushes in there <laughs> and that's not a good thing okay so I found which is not gold paint but it'll work these um they're called beads in a bottle from tulip I don't know if they still make these or not um every time I go to Michael's I look in their clearance section same with Joanne's same with um Hobby Lobby you always go I always call it Hobby Hobby <laughs> oh Kelly you're funny um you know so always look in clearance because you might find a little bottle of gold or silver or something that you can use you always think oh oh it's only two dollars well what am I going to use it for plenty so here we go I'm doing a little squeeze I'm going to stick just the tip in and I want to add some gold and I'll go that's why I love little brushes all right, I'm just going to do that, and I'm going to do it on the other side. I'll go over a little bit more green, but, like, my daughter has, sometimes her eyes are green, sometimes her eyes are hazel, so we're going to start there, and then I'm going to get a little bit, I don't know if you need to shake it or not, but <laughs> I am, I guess this is like a metal, metal what? Just says metal. Do you say metal? Yep, I guess these are all metal. That's gold. This is what? Coffee? Cobra? I don't know what color. To me it looks copper, so that's what we're going with. I'm just gonna squeeze a little bit out. Put a little bit on. I'm not even gonna wash my brush. And just lay that in there just to add a little bit of something. I don't know if this has silver, gunmetal. I can't see this one and I don't know why. Copper. I thought it said coffee. That's that's where my brain's at. And then what I'm gonna do, because I'm gonna because this is more of a transparent um coverage i'm going to just shake it up just to get that clear always shake these um because remember they have a clear coat in them that you know will settle 
will separate it. And I'm just going to do just the tip and just kind of run over it very... That's why, you know, I like using these sometimes because they'll dry and, you know, you can still see what's under them. And I'm not going, I mean, let's face it, I'm not going for realism here, am I? You tell me. I am so sorry. Dave must be letting the dogs out. Okay. So, that is that is that on the eyes for now. Okay. I found this. I don't know if I've ever used it before, honestly. Maybe. Looks like I could have. I want to add some hearts and something somewhere, and I'm thinking about gold. But I think I'm going to wait till almost last because I don't know if these are waterproof or not. They're beads in a bottle, and what they're supposed to be... Let me rinse this off because I don't want to get into that. They're supposed to be like... Which I could put around it. You just kind of do like a little squish, squish, lift it up, squish, lift it up, and you do like a little bead, right? Um, and that leaves like a little tail, so you probably have to smush it down. Uh, maybe there's a technique, maybe. You know, so like you go boop, 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 you know, which I've used these before. I might, I might, I don't know. I don't know. Let's see these. I don't know if you could see this. It's shiny and that's because of the satin, which is what the multi-surface is. Would you please go? Okay. So I don't know yet, but let me see if I can show you this. If No, you can't see if that's shiny. Nope. But so far, here we are. Not mad at her. Not mad at all. Okay, but I need a little bit of a darker. I don't want to go magenta, but maybe what I could do is take some magenta. We'll go in with our little dabber ground. Dabber, dabber, dabber. And I'll just lay it like that. I picked up my other magenta. Probably shouldn't have. Because it's thick and I need to, I didn't shake it first, obviously. And then I'm going to go back in with a little bit of that pink. Take a little bit out of here. Who was writing me? I don't know what that is. Okay. And then I'm going to that clump off because we don't want that but I do want it mixed a little bit okay let's see okay well, let's see if this does the deed and it doesn't even have to be full it's just kind of I can go over it with white if need be Okay, I'm not mad. I can do the. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. But you know what I'm gonna have to do is move this because you know it's gonna happen there. We all know it'll end up somewhere it's not supposed to be. Oh my god, my family is so loud. There's two people out there. And the dogs, but my lord. Okay, I don't know what the frick this is. All right, I've been. <laughs> Uh, it doesn't matter. Anyway, okay, so, yeah, I'm looking, and I need something else here. So, we are going to try this. I'm going to try these. But instead of, instead of um, an ink pad, I'm going to use paint. What color of paint should I use? I might use the, let's do, not... Not burnt orange. Let's try the quinacridone <laughs> gold. Let's see. Because it's like a burnt orange almost. We're going to see. If it don't work, I'll take it off. I am not really too worried about it. Oh, it's a nice color. 
Let's take our brush, dry brush, wet brush. We don't know. We don't care. And I'm just going to rub it. Because this is transparent as well. As you can see, it's beautiful color. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay. Let's see what she do. All right, so I'm going to have to put it down here. I'm going to put this underneath right where I'm going. So you can see it's harder. I'm not going to go straight. Nope, didn't work. It slid. So I'll just use my hand. Let's see what we get. Nope, just looks like a bunch of brown poop. Not going to do that. Not what I'm looking for. So, I'm going to rinse that off. I don't want brown poop. And I don't want that. I need something bright. I'm going to dull it down a little bit. But, I mean, I'm, you know, how are you going to know unless you try, right? Okay, so on to the next decision. Ugh. And the other one's going to be just as burnt orange. Like to see, I think it's like basically the same kind of color. But I think this time, I, brought, I knew I brought it. Let's see, it's a beautiful color. Not enough paint. So let's do a little bit more. Was that gold or burnt orange? Burnt orange. I might have to kick out, get out some alcohol inks if this one doesn't do the trick and just leave it run, which might be what I do. Maybe I can find my pink and then um, it'll run down that. You know what I mean? Is anybody yelling at me? on the screen. Do my ass. Alright. Oh, she did it. Oh, that's a good girl. Okay. Mm. A little bit down there. Let's go. Just do it. All right. Not as much, but I'm going to keep it here because, and now I'm going to go in with this. I'm going to pick it up on both sides like this. And just kind of, I mean, because it's there. Have it go around a little thicker, like almost watered out. Like a bubble, but not really. Okay. And then... Just a little color over there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my paper towel and just kind of... I don't want to touch this one. I'm going to leave that one go. I'm going to get this up. Water, water, where you at? Where you at? Get that up. Okay. Okay. So now let me reset myself back up. Some water on that. I don't want that. But, I mean, you see, look, I am not what you call fantastic artist. I know that. I have RA, fibro, my brain don't work, all the things, all the meds, all the things. Now, here's the thing, though. It doesn't matter. What matters is that you have fun, and I love making these. I love doing them. I love making them, and, you know, I like to show 
that if you are starting out, if you are disabled, if, you know, whatever, that it's just fun. Like, I love this background and I love uh, all that's going with it. I love the way it all came together. Um, I'm going to do her eyes, her nose. i got to finish her face. And I'll do that once these are dry. I'm going to give them a few. And then um, I think I'm going to call her. And then I'm either going to clear coat her or resin. I haven't decided. And I will be right back. Oh, Kentucky. I was thinking that because I do love me some drippage. I was thinking about doing a little bit of drippage here. Just because. So I'm going to take a wet brush. And just go around that bottom. I was going to do it off camera and then I thought, you know, I would do it on camera just so you guys who aren't familiar. I just wet my brush. I just go in. We're going to make a sloppy wet mess. And I'm going to take it and dab it around. Like that. And let her drip. And that will break up that white or peach or whatever color that is. I, colorblind, I don't know. So you have to excuse me. Okay. See? Now I might do just the littlest bit right here. Just like touch it a little bit. I like that color. Run, baby, run. Come on. She's like, I don't want to run. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Happy with that. Happy, happy, happy. I think this needs a little bit more color here, but I don't want it to run in her face. Mmm. -hmm gonna kind of come and run all right and zoop that back up see how that just sucked that back up and I think that's all I'm gonna do that do some little splatters all right Cal put it away before you ruin everything all right <laughs> now normally I would take my heat gun and dry this, but I'm going to just leave it be for a second. I'm going to, um, I don't necessarily want it to drip on her face that I just did. So I take my, now I save these. I'm cheap and I just do like this and open it up and I hang it on my desk until tomorrow and then I'll come back and use her again. I don't like wasting, hate it. Okay. So now... I'm going to do the eyes. I might have to lay her flat. And I do apologize. Not too bad now. Because I worked on a lot of the, you know, the stuff. I need to go in here. I want to do, hmm, I have to think a minute. I love the shadow on her face and I really don't want to lose that. But, and that's a big but. Maybe I'll use my graphic pencil. I know it's going to get all over my hand, so I'll just have to put more if I need it. And I'm going to go in and lightly sketch the eye and then like the that's like the little fold kind of thing I'm gonna do over here too I use a lot of mechanical pencils I always have um, I have a lot of hand problems and I break I break lead constantly like when I'm using a real like a regular pencil because I push so hard because I'm like over you know compensating so um yeah I did get a lot of that up but it went in there a little bit so um 
you know, I do that quite a bit. What time is it? Okay. All right. So I want... See, if I use this water soluble, what's going to happen is when I go to resin or do anything, it's going to it's going to ruin it. I know it is. And that is not what I'm wanting. So maybe I will try. See, these are Timu too, but I don't know if they're permanent. That's the only thing. I'm going to have to test them out. But I do know my fabric has style bolds are, so let's try them. I just want a very lightly not she dry but might have worked enough for all I need yes my my little crappy chair is back every time I move you're gonna know that my butt's grooving on the chair and this is just like that shadow under our eye, right? Now listen, you guys might follow stuff that I do or whatever and yours turns out a million times better than mine and I hope you do and I hope you tag me. I really do. Okay, I think I'm going to get my other. I mean, this is nice for the smudging, but not exactly what I wanted it to be dark like that. But I wonder if gray is enough. I'm gonna go there with the shadow and shadow like that. I'm gonna go shadow and then shadow. Hey, this worked good for what I needed. That's not too bad. Not bad at all. These I like to be a little bit longer. I'm just gonna kind of go squish it in. Squish right in. Come on, come on. I don't want to smush too much. I might need the other one because this is just, I go through these things like I eat chocolate a lot. Let's try this. Oh, oh she there. She there. And I'm just going to do that to push back a little bit so it's not so in your face because ah, it's dark. Then I'm going to take my little paintbrush, going to wet it, going to tap it off and try to see if I can blend this out at all. Might not be a strong enough brush. I might need my little scrubber. Yep. Come on, baby. A lot of shadow I don't mind. Like, I, I mean, I don't mind the shadow. I also don't want it. Too much. Never too much, never too much. Okay. All right. Okay, now, okay, I'm going to take this again, because I don't want it so dark, I'm just going to, like, little outline, like that, on the nose, so you see the tip but it's not you know and then the lips I don't know I might just leave it alone I 
I am so sorry. Okay. All right. I think we're going to need, well, let me think, let me think. I'm going to do some white. I have that. That's going to go around the eyes. Maybe, I think, I see, I think that pink's going to be too transparent. I really don't want anything too transparent. Let me see if I can get A little bit of white here. can't find my thin one. I gotta get my one with the thin point because those are really helpful. But I'm just gonna go in and blend it a little bit. And then I can go in and blend my eyeball. Maybe I should make him a little thicker. Okay. to do that with pencil though. I mean with the marker necessarily. Let's let that dry for a minute and I need some green, green, green. I need some green. Back to the green. Oh I do have a green marker though. I'm sorry they're calling for Bigfoot in the other room. <laughs> it sounds like uh... Any of you guys watch Bigfoot stuff? The more the merrier, I say. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to do a little bit of white under there. But what I'm going to do, because I love how white the... This pen is. What is this called? A Posca? Puska? Posca? And we're just going to go in and touch it just a little bit. And I'm going to... Take it under there a little bit. A little bit better and then I'll let that dry I'll do my green and then we'll be good we'll be good and I can outline it and then we're good and then this is another fat tip I don't know where all my thin tips are where are they they have to be under that pile behind me which I'm too embarrassed to show you because it's a lot Then I'm going to go in with the green on top, fix it with a little bit of white, and then we should be good to go. Good to go. Yeah. Then I can trace it with the pencil. Okay, let this dry. I'll be back. I'll be back. Okay. 
Okay, so well, I didn't really want to do anything, you know, without you guys. I'm going to take a little bit of this again and just put it. We're about done, I promise, I promise. I'm just going to take a little bit of that gold. On top of that green. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now I see <laughs> I see this and I don't like it. I don't like it. But it's gonna just be what it is. Alright, so that's gonna dry and then I'm going to put, go right here and just kind of thicken this up a little bit on the bottom, on the top. I am not an eyelash girl. I wish I was. I do. I can't do eyelashes. Now I was going to put a little thing up here, like for the top of her hat, but I don't think it's going to work because it's kind of like smushed on her head. You know what I mean? Like. She's just, just having a day, like we all do. So I'm going to put the little dots in the eyes. Eyes on the, go on the same size, a little highlight. You could do highlights wherever you want. Highlight always goes there. Top the lip. Um, you know, on top the nose, there's a little bit of white. Uh, I think that's all I'm going to do with the highlights don't want to do too much because not the kind of girl she is okay and I think she's finished I'm gonna let her completely dry and then I mean I could sit here and stare at her and like a thousand things I want to fix but what's the point um, I'm going to let her dry and then I'm going to decide, let me know down below what you guys think. Just a nice clear coat on her or just like a, you know, eighth of a thing of resin on her. Um, I'm not real sure. I can't quite decide, but I love her. Let me just show you. Oh my God, the puppy's playing. I'm so sorry. And then that's her. You can see the little mark there. I'm probably going to, I mean, who am I kidding? Let me just get a little, <laughs> a little acrylic paint because that's going to drive me bananas. Just a little bit. I'm just kind of blotted out. One thing I do like to do, and I might do it on this, um, is go around with some, maybe I'll do that while this dries. I'm just doing the light one first and then I'm going to go with the darker one. One thing I do like to do is I like to go around, sometimes I like it, I, I'm not going to do it because with, um, I'm not going to do it with my, let's go with you. This is one of my drawing, uh, sketching pencils. But I'm not going to do it with my um, Stabilo because I know I'm going to be covering it with something, whether it be spray or I just like the shadowy look of it. I don't know. Just the way I like it. And since I'm making it, I'm going to do it the way I like it. Oh my god, the dogs are having fun. Gotta give them that. Gotta give them that. And I just kind of go and... I would use chalk sometimes, but again, I don't want anything to kind of smudge anywhere on her face where, you know, when I go to paint it, it's going to... And I know that's dulling that black down, and it's all right. 
I'm not worried about it. I have the, uh, let me do too much for everything. Like I sit here and look at the hat and I'm like, oh, maybe I should do like some sort of cool design. No, leave it alone. <laughs> so I was going to tell myself, leave it alone. I'm going to go in here. Just to add that little bit of shadow. You can use a Q-tip too. Some people don't like to use their hands, but it doesn't bother me. Unless my hands are really bad, then, then it bothers me. And then I'll use a Q-tip or a smudgy, whatever they're called. Uh, I might put... I might put... Uh, what are they called? Eyelashes. I don't want her to go too far down because I don't want her to look like she has a beard. And then I'm going to take... I'll just kind of kick it back a little bit right here. Then you just take it back a little bit. It's all right. Very lightly. Paint's dried. That's why it's important, you know, to make sure your paint's dry before you move on. Because I've learned that too many times that I've tried to speed through something. Because I want everybody to see it, and I don't want the video to be too long. And I mean, really, this is just who I am. Sometimes I may talk to you. Sometimes I may just paint. Sometimes, who knows what I'll do. I can't tell you. But look at that. I could see that right there. Look what I did. Because I had the pencil on me. Just try to get those off. Always got to make sure your, your, uh, this is clean. When you go to take stuff off. That's what happens. I get it on my... And you can see, it's just going and taking. And uh, this is so great to, like, especially when I go to take some of the lead off when I'm drawing. You know, we've all seen it. We all know what it is. take this. What was I going to do? I was going to do something. Oh, eyelashes. Yeah, one second. Let me just get in here. Let me just get in here. See, this is going to drive me nuts. Too dark. Too dark. Too dark. Too dark. Darn hand school. Oh, well, what are you going to do? It's life, right? Sometimes you get squishy hands. You touch everything. And I'll just kind of smudge it out. Okay. I forgot to bring my water in. I knew I was thirsty. All right better a little bit it's not ideal but I'm just gonna fluff over this one more time that's right her arm Okay. All right, Kelly, you need to call it, sis. <laughs> you need to call it. Come on. Boop, 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 boop. See how a Q-tip would come really good in there just to keep tapping it? See, look, that's what I'm doing because I'm a stupid asshole. All right. <laughs> Guys, now I'm a mess. I'm tapping it with filthy fingers. That's if you didn't know. That's why it keeps going back the same way. 
because of course it is if you have dirty fingers okay let's just we're done we're done now do I want to do eye lashes <laughs> does a bird want to crap all over my table outside <laughs> yes um so is this the good one I'm only gonna do a few See, I think that's too much, too, uh, too much. Mm -mm, I don't like that. At least I don't like those two. I always have a hard time doing this side. And I make mistakes. I make a lot of mistakes. So if somebody tells you, like, oh, you shouldn't be, it doesn't matter. You do what you got to do. If you make a mistake, fix it. doesn't mean you're a horrible person. It just means that you're off your game. Or maybe it's not. Maybe you just don't even feel like it's a mistake. We're so hard on ourselves. You know? Okay, so what I wanted to do here, that was the other thing. Okay, where is, do I have a white? Mm, I don't know if these are gonna work. They're probably out of. I wish I had my gel pens. I don't exactly know where they're at right now. I will find them. <laughs> but I want to put... I'm oh, too freaking thick. I will. As these move on, as I do the next one, because I'm already knowing which one I want to do next. Um... I'll just get better. I just gotta, I have not done this in so long. So for me, it's like a lot of uh, trial and error. And I need to find my, I know you're not gonna be able to see, to make my thin, god damn, no. No, this is a tooth, this is too thick for the bottom. Too thick. And it gonna work on the bottom. When I tell you I have like six million pencils, I not lying. I can buy pencils and pens at the store, like they're going out of style. And and guess what? If you say, Cal, do you have a pen or a pencil I can borrow? I say no. <laughs> I drive my husband crazy. And if his is laying around, guess who picks it up? Me. Ends up in my stuff. Okay. Just want to get a little bit of the... Because like I said, not going necessarily for... But this, I'm going to have to make... dark yeah not mad at that I'm good with that make some kind of pop out more and that my friends is the end because I could sit here all day and just continue to smudge and push and do so let me know down below should I resin it or just do a nice clear coat glossy or matte you have to let me know and um thank you so much for uh coming along with me on my little 
my uh, little canvas ride. I hope you like it. If you'd like to buy it, let me know. I'm going to have it up on my Etsy soon. And I hope you'll join me in my next video where I start another one. I love you guys. And as always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. I hope you guys had a great weekend and your week is fantastic. Love you guys. Bye.